What's going on guys? So here in this package is a Nintendo DS Lite, but it's missing the top screen. So I bought this from eBay and it's actually called a Game Boy Macro. Um, it's not an official thing. It's something that came out, I'm not sure how many years ago, but basically uh, when somebody's, you know, N Nintendo DS Lite or DS would break, let's say the hinge broke or the top screen broke, um, but they wanted to still utilize the hardware, they'd basically take the top screen off and just use the bottom so they could play Game Boy Advance games. So if you're not familiar with a DS or a DS Lite, I'll show you real quick. So I got a DS Lite here, and there's actually a slot on the bottom where you can put a Game Boy Advance game. Uh, the Nintendo DS games go up top. So basically, the uh, person takes this screen off and morphs it into just a console with the bottom screen. So it's basically a, a big Game Boy Advance. They call it a Game Boy Macro because there's actually a Game Boy Micro, which I have right here. And this thing is really tiny. Um, and essentially, this console looks the same as this one, except it's much bigger. And yeah, so I bought this on eBay for $99 plus shipping, uh, which it's kind of hard to say if it's a good deal or a bad deal. I mean, you can just buy a regular DS Lite for cheaper than that, and it's essentially the same functionality, and the, the DS Lite can actually play DS Lite games. Um, but it's kind of cool, and this guy made like a custom 3D printed case, so I'm pretty excited to open this thing up and take a look at it. So real quick before we get into it, make sure to like and subscribe, and also hit that join button down below if you want to support the channel monetarily. And I also want to show you guys my website is coming out soon, uh, so it's just jrobgaming.com. And as you can see on my screen right now, if you put in your email address, you'll you'll know uh, basically when I launch the website. Uh, it's not launched right now, by the time you're watching this video it might be launched, but basically the idea is I'm going to be reselling some of my consoles and games and stuff on this website directly to you guys. Right now I just resell stuff on eBay, uh, but I made a poll and a lot of you guys were interested in, in me having my own website and buying directly from there. But as you can see, you got lots of consoles, games, going to have some merch eventually, got an about page. Uh, a lot of cleanup to do on this website, it's not launched yet obviously, uh, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys and make sure to put your email on the website if you want to be notified when it launches. But yeah, let's go ahead and open this thing up. All right, so we got this sliced open now, and I want to point out one thing before we open it up. Um, I've gotten a lot of comments recently with people saying that I'm opening up Amazon packages and calling them eBay packages, but they're actually from eBay. Uh, it's just people reusing Amazon packaging, which I do myself. Um, it's a pretty common thing. Just wanted to point that out. Let's go ahead and see what we got in here. So, oh, it's actually in a priority mail box. All right, so here we go. Packed in here nice and snug. Just a few extra pieces of paper. And it actually came with a USB cable. It's not even USB, that's actually a, I don't even know what kind of cable that is, but it, I guess, charges the console. And the console is in here. And the seller actually messaged me after I bought it and asked if I wanted extra faceplate. Uh, so here we go, we got an extra faceplate here. Here's a white faceplate. And I can't remember what the other color is, but we're about to see. So here's the console. That's pretty cool. So uh, this thing is, like I said, it's custom 3D printed and it looks pretty similar to the, the micro. It was kind of has the same curvature and stuff. So here's the micro. And as you can see, it's kind of got this like slanted piece at the bottom that's got there. The macro has it as well. At the top, it's got it as well um, on both the macro and the micro. So that's a pretty cool feature. And then of course, all these buttons look to be 3D printed. Um, actually feel pretty nice for being 3d printed it actually looks like it's sanded pretty well doesn't look too bad for 3d printed and then on the bottom you get your Game Boy Advance slot as you can see and then on the top you get your DS slot I wonder if the DS slot still works if I can like play half the game <laughs> no stylus of course because you shouldn't need it so let's go ahead and boot this thing up hopefully it turns on might need to charge it oh there we go so the touchscreen still works obviously I mean as you can see I guess it came from a, uh, a used console that was probably broken. It's got a lot of scratches and stuff on it, which is not a big deal because it's just on the back. And all the standard DS stuff. Let's go ahead and put in a Game Boy Advance game. I actually need to turn it off first. I've got my <laughs> fake version of Pokemon Fire Red. Let's go ahead and put that in there. <laughs> that, that game always has trouble fitting because it's fake. <laughs> it's not the best build quality, but uh, it is what it is. All right, so not showing up. Probably an issue with the game. Let me try a different game. So I've actually got an official copy of Tarzan so we'll try that out hopefully that works yeah that fit that fit in there a whole lot better I think it's just an issue with the the fake cartridge there we go start Game Boy Advance game and here we go you guys still got our volume slider down the bottom bottom left hand corner as you can see it's booting up looks pretty nice I'm not gonna lie though the uh, the new modded versions of the Game Boy Advance screens that you can buy look a whole lot better than the DS um, backlit screen. Like, let me just show you real quick. I got this modded Game Boy, which if you haven't seen it yet, 
I'll uh, throw a link down in the description. Look how bright that screen gets compared to the DS Lite screen. It's actually a whole lot brighter. But yeah, I mean, this is pretty, this is pretty neat, pretty interesting. Got Tarzan. And oh, one thing I didn't point out, the speaker is down here now. If you look at the original DS Lite, which I got right here, obviously the speakers are up here. No speakers down there. So basically this guy had to do some, also had to do some rewiring, um, obviously to bring the speaker from up there to down here. Um, starting to select and all these buttons were already here. I mean, I still got the right and left trigger, obviously, because you need those for Game Boy Advance games. I kind of want to explore this console a little bit more. I didn't really look at it a whole lot. So we got our gray D-pad over here. Um, got our buttons over here. And yeah, so if you guys are not familiar with 3D printing, um, I have a 3D printer, haven't used it in a while, but basically when you 3D print, it kind of has this texture to it um, where it's not like a perfectly smooth manufactured piece of, piece of plastic. It's like, if you're familiar with 3D printing, it's pretty obvious when something's 3D printed, but I think this guy did a pretty good job of 3D printing it and then kind of sanding it down so it feels pretty smooth and stuff. The screen is pretty scratched up, but uh, that's what happens when you have a DS Lite screen that's been used with a stylus. Everything on the back just looks like a normal DS Lite. Everything on the front looks completely different. Let's see if we can try out the other um, other faceplate. So this one is pretty cool, a uh, teal faceplate with some yellow and gray, which is a nice color scheme. Pops off pretty easily, it looks like. Hopefully, I'm really hoping I don't break this because, I mean, it's kind of thin, so I don't I don't really want to break this. Maybe I'll just leave that in there. Honestly, I don't know if I'll ever use the <laughs> use the white one anyway, because the, uh, the teal one with the yellow and gray looks better. But yeah, this is a pretty neat console. I really like it. Uh, I think this guy did a really good job of 3D printing and uh, making it look nice uh, considering what he had to work with. And now one other thing I want to test out, obviously the Game Boy Advance game works. I want to test out the Nintendo DS Lite game. So, or it's actually not a DS Lite game, it's just a DS game. I'm guessing we'll be able to play it just on the bottom screen, not on the top screen, uh, but we'll see. So, or maybe it's completely disconnected. I guess um, that is a possibility. Maybe the, the DS Lite you know, tray might have been completely disconnected from the uh, from the motherboard, which would make sense because there's not really any point of playing DS Lite games because you can't use the top screen. Oh, never mind, it shows up. So there we go, we got Nintendo Dogs. <laughs> I'm kind of interested to see how much of this game we can actually play. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Nintendo Dogs. So you, on Nintendo Dogs, you can see like your dogs, but you can't actually see them running around because the they run around on the top screen. So it's kind of useless. You're like flying blind, but kind of cool. You can still play <laughs> play DS games if you want to. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like down below and also subscribe for future content. I've got a huge stack of consoles just waiting to be unboxed. I'm, I'm a big, big fan of buying these random consoles and unboxing them, taking a look at them and testing them out. Um, this is a pretty cool console, 3D printed, like I said, modeled after the Game Boy Micro, just obviously like more than twice the size. And so obviously it fits in your hand a little bit better. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.